is Bikozi.com is here. Bikozi.com is an American website with a bigger collection of chunky yarns in the United States. We're making these videos to promote our yarns, and we have uh, over 215 videos on uh, YouTube channel. So subscribe to our channel to receive a new video tutorials every week. Today I will be making this beautiful and cute baby eagle, bold eagle. It's perfect for upcoming July 4th uh, or just any time uh, to make uh, for yourself or your child. We will be using uh, Bicozy chocolate uh, color, uh, white for the head and a little bit left over of mustard for the feet and the beak. So, you will need uh, half of the skein of the chocolate and quarter of the skein of white and a little bit less than quarter of the skein for the mustard. So if you have our yarn ready, let's get started. Okay, guys, let's get started. So we will be using a Bicozy chocolate a brown color. Uh, we will use Bicozy white and we will use leftover of uh, mustard color. And I have it in plus Chanel, but you uh, can have it in regular chunky Chanel and our DIY kit comes with regular chunky Chanel. Also, I will be using two eyes for the eyes and that's all we need. Let's get started. So, also we'll need uh, scissors. We will be starting with our <coughs> chocolate color. Let's uh, find the end, place the yarn in front of us. This is the tail, this is working yarn. We're making a knot on the end. And now we're placing the yarn in front of us like that. We will keep about 10 inches uh, tail here that will be for connecting the bottom of the eagle. Now place the yarn on the top, insert your tail, grab working yarn, pull the stitch out and this is our first stitch guys. Pull the working yarn down to make it smaller, about one inch and now we will be making a chain of 11 stitches. Insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. Hold the bottom of the stitch, insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. Then move your fingers, press the bottom of the stitch, take uh, yarn out. And the reason we are pressing the bottom of the stitch because this way the stitch is not ma ma uh, getting bigger when we're pulling the next stitch and this way we will keep all stitches approximately the same size like that so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so one is extra so here we are we have 11 stitches and what do we do now we are flipping it on another side and we are placing the working yarn on the back and we are connecting it into a circle like that. Now the tail goes inside this stitch on the bottom, not the last stitch, but this stitch. And <coughs> we are doing it from inside out like that. So we just connected the yarn. <coughs> Here we are. So what are we doing now? We are now will be knitting around guys, okay? So <coughs> uh, we will not be using the top stitch or the bottom stitch, we'll be using the middle part of the stitch. So we will lift it, grab working yarn and pull it out. Then find the middle part of the stitch on the next stitch, insert your fingers, grab working yarn and pull it out. And this way we will be pulling out the uh, first row until we reach our uh, tail. And the tail is our marker. It shows where the row starts. So here's our tail, see? So let's uh, make one more stitch. And now we will count because we need to have 11 stitches here, guys, okay? 
11. So the tail goes in the middle. It will be still a marker showing where we are. And now we will be simply knitting the next row. Simple knitting stitches. until we reach the end of the row. Okay, so we just made second row, guys. This is uh, uh, our marker. It shows the way we finished the row. What do we do now? We are folding these two together like that, and we will be knitting one side of this knitting project and then we will be flipping it on another side and we will be knitting the other. So remember, we started with 11 stitches, guys, and now we will be knitting for uh, 11 rows, okay? So 11 stitches to start, 11 rows to knit. And then I will come back and I will show you what are we doing next. Okay, guys, so we made 11 rows, 11 stitches around and 11 rows here. What are we doing now? We are connecting our white yarn. We're cutting our chocolate. We're taking our white. We find the end of it. And then I'm usually connected with a very simple knot, okay? So just simple knot, and then another one to secure it. And then you are pulling it in both sides until you feel uh, that there is no way to pull. And then you cut details close to that not. And here we are. We connected the yarn uh, and now we actually will uh, cast off. So how we will do it? We will take two stitches at a time and we will knit them. So one stitch left. Now add another one and knit it. And then knit to next one. And this way we will cast off all the way around the opening on the top. And try to uh, connect the white yarn together like that. And keep doing it until you are done with all stitches, okay? So we had 11 stitches, so we'll need to cast off all of them. So here we are. Uh, we are back where we started casting off. And now the stitch where we started, we will cast it off the, uh, again to connect this uh, white line. See what we have here? So what are we doing now, guys? See another uh, uh, stitch that is still showing up? So we will connect and uh, knit together. Uh, actually, keep it in your, keep the stitch, keep your fingers in the stitch, then go in the next stitch Grab working yarn and pull it through the stew to connect this uh, end. See, this way we don't see the uh, chocolate color. So what do we do now? We will be adding stitches now because we cast off to make a uh, neck. Now we will be casting off nine stitches, guys, okay? So this is our first one. And now we will be taking this, not the bottom of the stitch, but the top, making next stitch. So we have this one stitch sticking out here. Then go inside this next stitch, 
grab walking yarn and pull it out. So we now have two stitches, guys, okay? So the next stitch, skip it, because we're trying to make smaller uh, number of stitches, and then you make a third stitch. The next stitch, you are using the next one. It's four, five, six, and then we're skipping one. Uh, six, we need three more. So let's see, seven, eight, and nine. So here we are. We have nine stitches, guys. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had 11, and we decreased the stitches. And now we will be simply knitting this <coughs> head of the eagle with nine stitches. Try to make stitches as close to each other as possible, like that. And uh, the bottom one, if you remember, this brown or chocolate color, we had 11 stitches for the body, and for the head, we will need a small amount of rows, uh, or number, not as many rows. So, because stitches are smaller, here, I'm trying to make them really small, I will be making eight rows, okay? So when I'm done with eight rows, I'll come back and I'll show what to do next. Okay, guys, so we are done. 11 rows of brown or chocolate and eight rows of white. Now we will cut the yarn about 10 inches. And what we will do, we will make a knot on the end and cut the yarn to prevent an unraveling. And now we will actually create the face. So this is the back, we'll keep it here. And if you want to add a little bit more uh, here, see I made it such a way that it's already looking like a little uh, collar uh, with holes over here. If you want to add a little bit more, you can add uh, another row of white, but I will keep it this way. It's already looking very nice. So let's uh, make eyes. The eyes will be on the white side, and let's do it this way. Let's connect the yarn on the top first. So this is the top, and we will connect the top of the head with yarn going inside each of the stitches from inside out. <coughs> this way we will connect it into a nice circle. And now when we connect it, we pull it and we connected it, and now we will insert it in two stitches that we inserted it already. This way it will be connected into a very nice uh, flower looking top. And then this goes, the tail goes inside that middle, and here we are, we have this nice looking top. And what we will do now, we can now actually attach the eyes because now we can see better way to attach them. So here the eyes will be and take the back and go inside and attach the eye to the yarn. It's not easy to do guys because uh, Chanel yarn is not like regular small yarn. So you just need to find that uh, stitch where you can attach it. Here we are. Here is our second eye. And going from inside and trying to attach it. Here we go. Here we are. have two eyes. <coughs> now we will make a 
beacon and for beacon we will uh, use this mustard yarn so in, uh, place the yarn in front of you make a loop insert your hand grab walking yarn and pull it out so here we are I'm pulling it down to make a stitch smaller and now <coughs> I will insert my finger grab walking yarn and pull it out and then I will do the same third time so three and four four little stitches guys and I will actually make them even a little bit smaller as small as possible okay four very small stitches here we are now we will cut this yarn and because this is not chunky chanel yarn uh, you cannot make a knot you need to unravel it uh, and to make a knot but not with the yarn but with the the strings inside so I will make a knot to prevent unraveling, actually a few knots. That's how plush Chanel yarn is used. If you are using a plush Chanel, you probably know. So now this tail will go inside this last stitch and you pull. So we have this little uh, uh, nose, I will call. <coughs> and what we do now, we will fold it in two like that and now we will uh, attach it in the middle of the eyes for our bald eagle so insert one tail and then the other tail like this okay let me look at this in the middle enough <clears throat> let's see if we can move it a little bit that it would look nicely here we are so what do we do now guys we are simply going inside uh, it's not as simple we're going inside and uh, making a knot of this two ends of the mustard and we're keeping it there. Uh, here we are. Have a beautiful face. Look at that. It does look like an eagle. I love it. Now, we will take stuffing. And you can buy stuffing at any craft store. Or you can use old pillow that you have, like I'm actually doing. <coughs> uh, wash an old pillow. And use the stuff and that's a very good way to do it okay so stuff the uh, head of the guy making it looking like a head and beacon and then stuff the body that it would look more like a body of the eagle here we are so let's add a little bit on the bottom and now we can close it up okay so what are we doing we are closing it up the same way guys take the end of the yarn and insert it in every stitch from inside out and then gently pull it together and you will have a nicely connected bottom of this beautiful baby eagle so here we are we connected it all and now we will pull and insert it in two more stitches it's hard to see but in those two stitches where we inserted it already okay and then pull it and then insert the tail in the middle uh, this middle part and like that and then spread it 
and the bottom will look very nicely like that. See? So here our eagle. It's almost done. We just need to have uh, feet. And for feet, I will be using mustard color. Again, to prevent the yarn from unraveling, I will actually unravel it. And then I will make a few knots that is stopping plush yarn from unraveling. What are we doing now? We're placing the eagle in front of us like that. And now, here on the side, uh, it would be like one foot uh, in front of the eye and then the other here. So insert your finger inside the uh, chocolate yarn and pull out the stitch. And then do it again. So we will have two. Now we will need these two stitches, one and two. And now we actually need to connect this first one. I usually make a knot and to secure it, attach it to the stitch underneath and then go inside, so kind of like a knot. And this way it's secured and then you just simply tuck it in. Okay, so here we are. We have two feet here and now we will uh, we will do one stitch and then we will need these two together. Mm, no, here. We uh, made one row, two row, and then we're making extra stitch. And then we are knitting these two together, but the stitch goes on the back like that. Here we go. That's what I wanted to look like. Now we will cut the yarn. Again, this yarn is not easy to uh, just simply make a knot. You need to unravel it and make a knot. Okay. okay, now the end goes inside the last stitch and here we are. So now we're simply hiding the tail on the end, I mean on the back, on the back of the leg, like that. Here we are. So one is ready and now we're making another one. The same way I am unraveling the yarn and I'm making a knot. And then the same way, guys, I will make a second leg. Okay, guys, so we have two legs for the eagle. And now the only thing we need to add will be the wings. Okay? And the wings will be done with our uh, chocolate color. The same color as the body of the <coughs> eagle. How we will be doing it? We're taking our yarn, we're making a knot. We're turning it on the side, and then we will start over here, right underneath the uh, the neck area, and we will. Put our finger inside, grab working yarn, and pull it out. And then we will do it. Let me do it a little bit farther here. Okay, one, 
two, <coughs> and three. So we need three stitches. And then this stitch will be uh, attached to any stitch you can find here. Make a knot and tuck it in. So here we are. We have three stitches. Now we will be knitting the stitches for three rows. So that was first row. This is our second row. Then we are making row number three. And one more, row number four. So now when we have four, let's see. Now, you know, we will need to actually make another row because the stitches are making up very small. So here we are. Yeah. And actually one more. I guess it doesn't look good. Six rows. Okay, six. Here you go. Six would be good. So now we are knitting these two together. And we're knitting one. And now we are knitting these two together. And we have this beautiful eagle wing. <coughs> so six rows, guys. And now we are cutting the yarn, making a knot, cutting the tail, insert tail inside this last stitch, and pull it. So here we are. See, we have this beautiful wing. And then uh, the yarn, this tail goes inside any stitches on the back of the wing, just hiding it nicely like that. Here we are. Look at this beautiful wing. Isn't it nice? Let's add one more. Okay, guys, we are done with the second one. And the same way we will tuck in the end on the back of the wing, and we are done here. So here's our beautiful baby eagle. Spread the yarn, remove the extra pieces, and here we are. Look how cute it is. So you can make it with this video tutorial and our yarn that you can find on becausey.com and stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at becausey.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.